All right. Starting off, is this everybody? Yeah, this is everybody. Okay. Oh, did okay. Change his focus on differentiating properties with his normals. As well as the situation after the special moves are blocked. The hitbox of what is it? Uh forward S has been decreased on this top and bottom, making it more likely to lose low profile moves. Okay. He added some knockback to his far standing S. So they nerfed, they nerfed him, which is, you know, which is, which is expected. Oh, I don't have my music playing. Hold on. All right. Now we've got music on this. Don't have a camera either. Don't need my camera, really. <clears throat> this version of Volcanic Viber has had its active time extended, making it more viable as an anti air attack. So that's, that's pretty good. After blocking Brand Bandit Bringer, it's difficult for both players and their opponent to predict what would happen. It is now easier to put distance between Soul and the opponent after it has been blocked. Situation is less likely to be impacted by the startup time of the opponent's close range options. Also, while throw is distinguished by its invincibility throws, it was used less frequently than Soul's standard throw. It is now possible to follow it with a Roman cancel when it lands. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, heavy mob cemetery's command is to avoid issues when input and tyrant rave. Oh, so they 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 just outright change the uh, the input. Okay. Move no longer comes out when inputting forward directions after the command is complete. Okay. <laughs> All right. Little little nerf for soul, but it's yeah yeah yeah. It's still a buff. It's still a buff. What's going on, Lex? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right, I'm not. I'm. I'm really just interested in what they did for my main. To be honest, we we. Wow. Okay, she can now combo. Yes, yes. Her punches now combo. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Let's fucking go. Yes. When the final hit of forward. Uh, Heavy slash connects. She is now in a better uh, situation for Oki. Let's go. There's now merit to choosing not to cancel into. Yes, I like that. I really, really, really like that. Simply because. Man, she's. <laughs> she really. Uh, she got buffed. She got really decent buffs for, for her kit. <clears throat> So, wow, that's really nice. It knocks the opponent down. So instead of just giving giving them a stun, it knocks them down and gives her Oki. That's crazy. That's really crazy. All right, so Naga, what would they do for him? Uh, forward P, sped up to start attack. R standing S, increase the amount of blood gauge. Wasuryuki no longer does goes into a follow-up animation when the edge of the first hit connects with the opponent. When the last hit connects, it blows the opponent back regardless of their position. Wow. That is, um, that's a big zoning buff. <clears throat> Let's look at Leo. Increases options during Burn Hilder stance, making it easier to open up the opponent's defense. The mechanics have also been adjusted so that he will always move towards the opponent when using the dash button as he would previously sometimes was taking, yeah, yeah, because he turns around. So that's actually really, that's really fucking good. Holy shit. <clears throat> Can be dash or jump canceled. Wow. That that's, that's actually really good for people who like me. I'm a, I'm a double tap person. I don't use like the command button or, or the dash button. I just double tap. It's it's actually easier for me. Uh, Ram by increasingly uh, increasing the forward movement of Daruo, it can now be used in mid screen combos more easily. Yeah, the problem with Ram is she was really just a corner character. Like she, if if she wasn't in the corner, she wasn't living. And it says aggressive uh, aggressive order no can now lead knockdown against grounded opponents on hit. Greatly increasing the benefit of landing a hit with it. 
What move is that? On the other hand, it's now easy for Aerial HS to lose anti-air attacks due to the decrease in its hitbox on both sides. The player now needs to consider when to use her various aerial opponents. All right, that's cool. I, I, I thought her hitbox was a bit wide on that as well. But for, for the most part, she got a buff. Like, she, she really, really got a buff. Floats the opponent on grounded hit only when both. So she's, wait. Floats the opponent on grounded hit only when both swords are equipped. So she's got OTG. Yeah, she's got OTG. I really don't want to read Zato. <laughs> We've mainly improved his options when he cannot summon Eddie. Oh. I mean, shit, when can't he summon Eddie, though? Like, he has, like, a very short time. Because I know when, when I fight Zato's, Eddie, like, I don't even fight Zato. I just fight Eddie. I literally just fight Eddie. <laughs> it's always Eddie. When recalling with Eddie with... uh quarter circle back hs while eddie is summoned the summon will be canceled faster wow that is a that, that's a really buff that's a big buff that that gets you back into your your neutral a lot faster that's i don't know man that's a. Uh, I don't think i like that milia in order to make her grounded attacks more viable the recovery of her standing hs has been reduced oh and her special moves that can be canceled into normals have been buffed. Wow. Okay. Oh. Uh, she was a problem before, but oh my god. Reduced recovery? That's just make that's just gonna make her faster. We don't need her to be faster. We don't need that at all. Faust. Bone crushing excitement causes wall break on hit and corner now. The no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wall break, not wall bounce. Okay, I was about to say, bro, because he had something that did wall bounces, didn't he? Like this, this did wall bounces instead of wall breaks, right? <clears throat> and I know, um, Saul had something that did wall bounces as well. They didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't address that, did they? Yeah, they didn't, um, they didn't address his wall bounce combos. <clears throat> Before it didn't wall bounce. Okay. Oh, it didn't wall break. Cause it just bounced. Okay. This is, this is something, bro. Kai, far standing S reduced recovery, made it more easily affected by dash momentum. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, decreased knockback of crouching K. Stun dipper made it easy for the second hit to combo by changing the distance traveled. The hitbox and blowback of the opponent decreased the distance between Kai and the opponent after the second it connects. I literally don't mean, don't know what that means. Dragon install decreases the tension uh, penalty time after decreased attention penalty time after activation, sped up attack start upon activation, expanded hitbox on activation in front of Kai and reduce the upper hitbox. No longer activates when inputting forward direction after the command is complete. Huh? I literally don't know what any of that means. He's bottom two. It, it sounds like a nerf, but I don't know. <laughs> they just made the sweep move better, but not by much. Okay, got you. Yeah, it sounds like that. that's a nerf to me. Uh, May, let's look at what, what's going on with her. Her standing HS had much shorter range than her S attack, despite having a lot of recovery, reduced recovery, and improve the attack's active time. This makes it very effective at preventing opponent approach during neutral. 
We've also reduced her lower hit box and hurt box for why? Okay, I get reducing the active time, but like reducing the hit box, why? Oh yeah, no, but no one's still gonna use dragon install. I really think dragon installs really need to like stay in versus games. It's, it's, it's such a niche mechanic to where a game like this, where it's just one-on-one, -on -one, it's super hard to pull off. Now I get he's got the projectiles and he can like drag and install it between the projectiles, but that's just doing too much. All right, only overhead kiss could only be followed up in the corner. However, it can now be followed up mid screen with adjustments made to damage. Oh. Okay. Fix the buzz that caused the attack to hit wall break occasion hit after wall break occasionally. Oh, okay. That's how those guys are all all in fucking celestial with maze because <clears throat> they're getting the actual kill after the wall break. <laughs> Her crouching has decreased active time uh, and expanded hurt box in front of me. So that's kind of like a, a trade off. Increase active time and, dec and uh, decreased recovery. Okay. That's cool. Like if you can get past that, then yes, it may may still pretty easy. I always thought fighting maze were easy because they're so predictable. Like most maze, when they fight, they'll do, they'll throw out two totsugekis and like do an overhead. That's, 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 that's may. <laughs> And they'll jump and they'll do the, uh, the, the, the anchor drop. That's just May. And they'll occasionally throw out their DP. All right, let's see what you got, Chip. There was too much of a difference in facing opponents who could anti-air his aerial. Oh my God. It's now easy for anti-airs to hit him. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. On the other hand, he is now left in more advantageous position on hit or block with less this so he gets wait he's in an advantage position on hit or block with less distance between him and the opponent how does that work how the hell does that work his aerial down kick i'd have to look at that the lower part of the hitbox of the far standing S has been reduced, making it more likely to lose low profile moves and his 6P attacks. Okay. That's good. That's actually really fucking good. Like, hey, fucking nigga named Chip. <laughs> However, his crouching S can be used as a better means to approach the opponent with its extended range when used after a dash. So it gets, it gets momentum after, uh, after he runs. That's actually pretty, that's a good trade off that. I mean, chip is a chip is a rush down character anyway. So allowing him to close the gap a lot faster is it's, it's, it's on brand for chip. It makes it risky for the opponent to throw out moves in neutral against them. Yeah. All right. You can have that. You can have that. Oh, Timkin. We have greatly increased the merit of making the opponent block heat knuckle. Why? Wait, did, did they? We have greatly increased the merit of making the opponent block heat knuckle. Did they? Did they shorten his? What does that even mean? Heat knuckle made it easier to gain tension gauge when blocked. Greatly increases the opponent's RASC level on block. Oh, okay, okay. So that adds more to the hit stun. It just adds more hit stun. Okay. Bro, I thought they um I thought they reduced his recovery. I was about to say, like, no, that's just not a good idea. That's not a good idea at all. 
It is now more difficult for the opponent to punish Potemkin when the opponent blocks the latter half of the active frames of 6k. What is this 6k? Wait, is his 6k the the ground pound? Surely that's not his ground pound. Please tell me his 6k isn't the ground pound. The top tiers really got the best buffs. I can see. Leo is out here living, bro. Milia's living. Zato's living. Cause simply simply because of the um the Eddie recall and increase the attack's active time for his standing HS. Like what the fuck? Ram is 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 pretty is really good now she's got OTG. She's really good now she's got OTG. But only when she has two swords. 6k is the shoulder dash move. Oh, okay, 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 okay. As long as it wasn't his his ground pound move. That needs to not do anything. That needs to say exactly where it is. <clears throat> All right. Nagaryuki sped up uh, far standing S. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this basically this basically kills frames. So like it, it makes the uh, the animation shorter. So essentially, it's like a pseudo recovery um, a reduction. And then the blowback. That's kind of crazy. Geo, I am super excited to try out the new 6P and the new, um, the new, uh, what, what the fuck you call that shit? The new, uh, I guess you can call it a Rekka. It, 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 it's, it's, I guess it's like a Rekka, the Rekka kick. Cause she gets Oki. So that, that's, that's actually great for mix-ups because Giovanna does not have a lot of mix-ups. She just doesn't. What they should have done was reduce the time that the first, uh, the first record comes out. That way it's easier to combo, easier to get, and then easier to mix. But I think I'm just asking for too much because I'm, I'm a geo main. So. Man, fuck a nigga named Anji, man. Anji's just a weird dude. Like, I've been told like he's easily counterable, but like just just the way he moves and and that little spin attack that has invincibility frames or or, 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 or a super uh, a super armor, it's really just it's off putting to me. And that's simply because I don't understand how how it works. It's it's like. Okay, it blocks two hits or maybe three hits. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I don't know. <laughs> as far as standing S, reduced recovery, uh, made it possible to cancel into its various follow attacks, even when whiffed. Come on, bro. Anji really just got all buffs. He just got all buffs. He just got all. Should I should I start playing Anji? Is this what this is telling me? Like I should just start playing Anji. Is is is, is that the is that the move? Is that the wave? I think that's what that that means. Good lord, man. Eno. Uh, the movement of her grounded aerial hover dash has been buffed, expanding her options for both Oki and neutral. Um, the changes to her normal, such as standing HS and the HS version of stroke the big tree. That's a great name for a move. 
create additional opportunities for combos and increase her pressure at close range. Okay. Ultimate Fortissimo has been buffed mainly so that's easier to cause wall break. Why on earth would you do that? Am I going to join him, bro? Oh my God. I don't want to join him, but it's just like, look at it though. Like there's no negative thing about this. Like for a nigga who don't know the matchup to Anji, it's free. It's just free. It's free. <laughs> extended hitbox, extended hitbox, increase attacks, active time. Made it possible to cancel into the various follow-ups, even when whiffed. Even when whiffed. If I miss a move, I can't punish because he's canceling into a different move. And the motion begins before the attack is active. And he moves further. There is no downside to any of this. <clears throat> I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. We don't, we don't need to talk about Gold Lewis. Nobody, nobody plays Gold Lewis. <laughs> nobody plays Gold Lewis. But from what I'm looking at, like, you know, got some really decent buffs. Increase the movement speed and the distance for her. Oh, for her air dash. Hell yeah. Because that's so, it's so reactable. Like when I was getting my ass beat by that, you know, that was pretty much the only thing I was getting a hit off of because it's, it's super reactable. And now I'll never be able to do it again. I'll just never be able to, to, to do that again. <laughs> Standing HS sped up the attack startup and made it float the opponent on a grounded hit. So now that gets, she has OTG now. Uh, crouching K reduced knockback. Her, um, her two dust reduced horizontal opponent blowback on hit. That's only going to help her out because now she can easily follow up. Aerial D just did the hit effect on grounded opponents, increasing the time allowed for follow-up attacks, reduce knockback for the stroke of the big tree, and increase forward movement for our ultimate Fortissimo. Yeah, like I don't see any negatives here. Like Eno, Anji, Geo, Nago, Leo. Uh, Ram is kind of well, no, Ram got pretty good. Yeah, Ram, she got really good buffs too. Zato, the only, <laughs> the only nigga that got fucked was, <laughs> was Kai. <laughs> and Chip, Chip got, um, Chip got nerfs. So, I mean, but Chip's still a good character though. You know, has a lot of unreactable mix. Yes. Oh yeah. I, I shit. I know <laughs> I couldn't react. The only thing I could react to was, was her dash. Like she just puts a lot of shit on the screen and, and gets me confused. The best characters are still the best characters. Essentially. Yes. Um, they really just, they, they went back to formula on soul though. They really did. They, um, they fix some stuff and they, uh, he's still gonna, he's still gonna be S tier though. Like there's nothing in this kit that, that tells me like he's going to get knocked down a peg. Like they, they actually made him better, which is kind of crazy. Don't know why they tried, they, they had to make him better. God damn, bro. Honestly, if they buffed everybody else and left so bad guy, he'd still be a top tier. He'd still be a top tier. His kit is just perfect. Like he's got, he's got DP. He's got projectiles. He's got uh, uh, rushing moves. Like it's like he's, he's, he's way better. He's a way better all around than they intended Kai to be. Cause Kai is supposed to be the real all around guy, right? I don't know what they thought giving him a dragon install in, in, in this game. I'm not sure how he played in other games. If he had a dragon install or not, but this one here, no, the way that this game plays, no, not at all. But yeah, um, May's pretty good. May, May 
may can be as campy as she wants now with her extended uh hs so i think patience like like unga bunga may i think those days are like when this patch hits the the unga bunga may is she's gonna have to play a lot more reserved i think she's gonna have to play a lot more reserved yeah because her 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 recovery Wait, her recovery on, on standing HS is pretty, is, is actually good. Increase the active time and decrease the recovery. So I'll, I'll wait for the wiki so we can actually get real numbers to make an educated, you know, decision on whether she should be campy or not, or more campy, but that's what it's looking like. Like she, she has the ability to be more campy. Like you can still go unga bunga, but I think with these changes, it's, it's more, it's more advised to go campy rather than unga bunga with May. Axel, fuck Axel. I didn't even look at Axel. But anyway, hold on. <laughs> it was hard for Axel to get significant returns from his standing P and crouching. Oh my God, please stop. Please stop. Now they can combo into snail, even on a grounded. Please stop. Stop. Why? What's happening here? I'll say it. I've, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Like if you play Axel, you deserve less. Like you just deserve like less. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to, I have to make sure that y'all know, like, If you play Axel low, you deserve less. You deserve less than less. Less. Okay. Okay. <laughs>